are more than 6,000 homeless people in Virginia. Nearly 1,500 of those are minors. Many here in Hampton Roads. And there's an area shelter that is working to help put kids and teens on a new path. And to do that, they're going to the streets. Our Marilena Belores got a first-hand look at Seton Youth Shelter's street outreach van. Every day, five days a week, the Seton Youth Outreach Van hits the roads. With snacks, supplies, and advice for kids and teens, they make stops in 34 neighborhoods across Hampton Roads. Their mission, give kids the resources they need to stay off of the streets. It takes a van, some food, two counselors, and you have the Seton Youth Shelter's outreach van. How you doing today? That's good. Stocked with food and hygiene supplies, the team visits 34 communities in Hampton Roads every week, helping any young person who comes their way. Not all of them are homeless, but they could be at risk. It's any youth that's in a crisis in the community that they're living in. David Mount started the van outreach program in 2001. He says the snacks and supplies are important, but more than that, their outreach can give the kids and teens a place to turn if they ever need it. Everyone has dreams, and our young people can, can dream as well as the best of us. It really is an opportunity to share the resources that are closest to their community. But it's not always easy to establish that connection. You have young people that you don't know, that you're asking them to uh, be able to develop a rapport and a level of trust to provide them with some information that is meaningful for them to make decisions both now and maybe in the future. The counselors say they only have 60 seconds to make an impact. Kids don't like to stick around, but they've made it work. The credibility comes from meeting a young person know where they're at without having to uh, judge where, what they're doing, where they've been, where they're coming from. Sharina Handy is one of the counselors who's now a familiar face in the neighborhoods. I try to be um, very transparent and I try to be very non-judgmental. Um, when it comes to dealing with our at-risk youth. A native of Norfolk, Handy knows it's not always easy for these minors. Kids need um, other entities to look up to other than just their uh, immediate surroundings. Um, sometimes the immediate surroundings can be uh, uh, very negative. She's been with the shelter for nearly four years, and in that time, she's seen a lot. I had not eaten anything in a couple of days except for at school. I've had that happen. Some days, it's a thankless, emotionally draining job. Children that are disenfranchised, um, that feel hopeless, um, that are hungry, um, you know, that makes you feel some type of way. But the kids they meet and the smiles they see make it all worth it. It only takes one person to make a difference in a young person's life. The van outreach program used to have two vans with four volunteers. They could reach 20,000 at-risk youth a year, but a lack of funding leaves them with only one van, reaching less than half of that number. They're now hoping to raise money for that second van, and we'll have ways you can help on Wavy.com. I'm Mariana Belores, 10 on your side.